We're now going to play something a little different. This is called Flurry. What we're going to do is a flurry of little scenes. One will lead into the other, into the next, until we stop. So, <laughs> if that makes sense. All I need from you is a starting word, and we use that to inspire for the beginning. Wow. Salsa. Salsa. Donut. Donut. I love Sunshine. You, you're doing this one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> said, that really sounded like you've never seen sunshine before. <laughs> sunshine! Sunshine! I'm going to go with sunshine! Uh, we're going to start with sunshine. We're going to start a little scene. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go from there. We'll see how it goes. Give a big round of applause to again! Oh, beautiful sunshine. I love the way it bounces off your beautiful face. You were going to say something else then. <laughs> I resisted the bold joke because it's still quite early in the show, but now you've opened the door, you have no hair. <laughs> I know I don't have any hair, but this is, we shouldn't argue. It's our anniversary. It is our anniversary. We always come to this picnic spot for our anniversary in the sunshine. Yes, come on, let's have some bread and cheese. <laughs> well, we are French. <laughs> Wine? Oh, bien sûr. <laughs> you spoke English there for a second. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to us. To us. Clink. Clink. <laughs> <sighs> so how's your affair going? <laughs> I know. <laughs> What did you just do? I kept, I kept the wine in my mouth the whole time because I was about to dramatically reveal it was poison. But I've explained, I, I poisoned you. Your wine was poisoned. You're going to die in the sunshine for what you did. I know about Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude? I know about Jean-Claude. No, but Jean-Claude, we were just buddies. But fuck buddies? No, no, no. I saw you. No. I saw I was coming out of the patisserie. I turned the corner and there were you and Jean-Claude raw doggy it in the street. <laughs> we were not raw shying at all. We were just having good times together having a play role. A play role? Do you think I'm that naive? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got the slow acting poison. <laughs> oh my god! That man is bald! <laughs> Easy there. Oh. You're about to step on my territory. <laughs> you actually have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see I've made some kind of mistake. Well, all you got to do is wander back over there, and we ain't going to have ourselves a problem. I just got to wander back over there, and yeah. we ain't got no problem. Uh, no, you, you repeating exactly what I say? What, are you some sort of echo? I just want to be real clear on what I got to do. I got to walk over there, and we ain't going to have no more problems. Is that what y'all saying? I ain't saying we gonna ain't have any problems, like we'll still have taxation and relationship troubles. <laughs> I'm saying the problem of me pointing a gun at you for being on my property will remove if you move over this line. So you were being overly generalized before. When you said we ain't going to have no more problems, you meant this new specific problem will be gone, but we will still have problems such as inflation. <laughs> He's on, so I apologize for not being hyper-specific with my initial sentence and structure, I will try to do better in the future. Please move exactly two meters to I your left. I understand your mistake. That rhetoric can be a tricky mistress, but <laughs> I want to understand precisely what will occur if I am to step back over there hey, outside of your property. If you do too far, you'll be on my property, and I don't. And we don't want there to be any issues because this is my side, right? Do you here. understand what he's saying? I ain't a fucking clue what he's saying. No idea what you're saying. You have made this a three-body problem here, which is an unsolvable mathematical issue. I'm just saying that this is my turf right here. Okay, only you are on that bit, so I do not see why. And when you say oh, that's your turf, do you only own the turf, or do you own the land underneath and it? Underneath like, of the turf. If we don't go on the turf, are we allowed over there, or is this a property line? Be more specific. Be more specific <laughs> now. Just be more specific. Just be more specific about it. Okay. okay. So, I... Come on. I don't know anything for work. Okay. I happened to the door. Yeah. It's normal. I opened it, and that there was a delivery driver. Oh, yeah. I went, oh, hello. And he went, oh, hello. <laughs> you know, that's fun. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he was delivering a parcel. Uh -huh. And I went, oh, is that for me? He went, oh, I hope so. <laughs> and it was fun. Um, <laughs> and he said, 
yeah, I need you to sign here. Okay. I took it to the stylus. Yeah. I went, okay, just here. And he went, yeah, on the line. Yeah. And as I started to sign up, and then I slipped, and it went through his heart, and he's dead. <laughs> 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 okay, you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Tough life in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hunting wild and exotic animals for about two weeks now. <laughs> and I realise I really should have prepared a lot more. As you can see, I've lost my legs and arms. <laughs> Turns out, crocodiles, even if they look like they're smiling, aren't actually your friends. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the TED Talk. <laughs> On... Uh, don't fuck with nature, because nature fucks back. <laughs> now, what I recommend for anyone who wants to attempt what I did is do your research, do your reading, and start with something small like a dormouse. <laughs> Very unlikely a dormouse is going to give you such grievous bodily injuries. Now, next slide. <laughs> That's Jim, he's my assistant. <laughs> I can't click anymore due to the incident. <laughs> and so I need him to click because it's a click activated PowerPoint presentation. Now, as you can see, this is a photo of the incident. <laughs> Actually, about two seconds before, and I'm waving at the crocodile <laughs> in the water. Now I'm really in the water. <laughs> and as you can see, one of the arms is gone. Why did I not run away then, you might ask? I've always been a stubborn man. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. <laughs> I just, um, I just need this time. You want us to leave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't leave. <laughs> Listen, mate, I don't want to be in a solo scene, mate. That was quite fair. Yeah, I'm really glad someone might come in at some point. Listen, mate, yeah, sometimes it's funny just to let someone on mate, stage by themselves. I just, it's alright if you can't think of anything. We've done several scenes in a row. I've, I think they're quite pleased. No, yeah? you know, I know this is your first time doing improv, Ross Kim. <laughs> Why have you been doing a I've just job? ran out of ideas. Here. <laughs> you know, well, I'm sure we can think of something. You've always got to be funny at every moment. <laughs> He's fucking exhausted. Oh, no, no, no. That's no. probably why you stuck to like the dramas and the soap operas, you know. Don't have to I'm worry. running out of accents as well. <laughs> That's right. You don't I've have been to... through Australian. Yeah. We've been through French. <laughs> I'm now. Don't do my... the offensive ones. Okay, leave yeah, those, yeah. Leave <laughs> those in the cupboard yeah. in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. Leave those in the nineties. I think I'm gonna quit. <gasps> <laughs> Lillian well, doesn't want you to go. We're going to do like just a couple more games in this half, then we'll have a break, have a beer, and then come back for the second half, all right? Yeah, all right. Just keep, keep. Should we do that? Yeah. yeah. Fuck! Yeah. That was a horrible delay. And scene! There we go!